the third aspect of our being that we must pay attention to uh, when it comes to dealing with stressful times has to do with our emotional health. It's very important that we're present and aware of our emotions and that we don't just become swallowed uh, up or swamped by only our negative emotions, but recognize them, um, you know, acknowledge them, channel them positively, but don't uh, stay there consistently. We have to find ways to experience our positive emotions as well. And one of the things we have to do is we have to, uh, uh, in stressful times, keep the big picture in mind. Yet yeah, these things are really um, important for us. We have to think about the fact that, you know, yes, there are lots of uh, difficult and uncomfortable things that are happening around us, but I can guarantee you that for every negative thing that's happening, there are thousands of positive things that are happening. We need to seek them out. We need to find them. We need to focus on them. We need to celebrate them so that we can experience joy and love and happiness and laughter and all of the positive emotions that we were designed to, to experience. You know, for example, we're in this garden and there are all these beautiful flowers, so uh, inspiring that can help us recognize the beauty that surrounds around us uh, in our world each and every day. And you know, the, the other aspect of our emotions that we, we must pay attention to is that we must deliberately engage our social connections. We are social beings. We have to reach out to other people. We have to reach out to them by uh, offering help and care, as well as accepting and receiving uh, compassion and care from them. One of the things that we, my husband and I do is we spend a lot of time um, sharing together, uh, you know, doing things together, uh, or just sitting and enjoying each other's company because we recognize that how, how important that is for our emotional health. Um, there's, a, there's a hormone that's called uh, oxytocin. It's known as the cuddle hormone or the love hormone, and it's actually released in your body when you are connected with someone socially, when you hug and you touch someone, um, you caress someone. So that's one of the ways that um, you can actually lower your anxiety and your stress level by just hugging or being hugged. And so we want to make sure that we're taking care of our emotions, finding the positive, celebrating the positive, and reaching out to each other so that we can thrive physically, mentally, emotionally, and then spiritually.